dumping sewage, clothes and trash all just feet away from a school. Homeowners in Logan Heights say they are fed up with RVs using their street as a parking lot. 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo spoke to some neighbors who say these RVs need to go. Neighbors say the problem is that these RVs here on Logan Avenue keep coming back, leaving behind trash and also the fact that they're just feet away from this school. The piles of trash line Logan Avenue. Bags, clothing, uh, uh, paint containers. I think they have bathroom stuff in there. The RV trailers have cobwebs. Sometimes it looks like Camperland got about six, uh, we'll have about six uh, motor homes or uh, trailer homes. Gloria and Adrián Flores have lived in the neighborhood for nearly 20 years. The couple says people live out of these RVs, leaving behind a mess, at times even human waste. They look like sewage. Yeah. The city ordinance says no car can be parked continuously on any public roadway for more than 72 hours. In June, the city opened a safe parking lot for people living out of their RVs in Mission Valley. The RVs on Logan Avenue come and go. Well, if the policeman tags them, they go and then they'll come back. Flores says they've reported the issue to the city's Get It Done app multiple times, also reaching out to their council member, Vivian Moreno. It seems like there's lack of enforcement that uh, just let them park, get ticketed, let them park, and I guess they're going to pay their ticket and bring it back later. 10 News reached out to Vivian Moreno's office, who said they reported the issue to the police department, adding that they would continue to report any complaints and violations to the appropriate authorities. In Logan Heights, Laura Acevedo, 10 News.